Wow. Can you believe it? This is the 80th video. It's crazy. This is the largest single video series that I ever created for Microsoft. And I don't know about you, but I am worn out. I hope you enjoyed it. The fact that you got to this point means that you're probably pretty good at sticking with things. And that quality will serve you well because it takes time and patience to create a successful app. I mean, I created these tiny little apps in about an hour, maybe an hour and a half. However, you're going to likely spend a couple of days at a minimum and maybe a couple of weeks really testing and tweaking and asking beta testers for suggestions and making sure it's just polished and it's not going to throw an exception in, at any circumstance. Uh, and you really want to do that to make sure that you get a great first impression and good reviews in the Microsoft Store. So if you stuck with me through all 80 videos, then wow, you deserve some sort of Medal of Honor in addition to having a pretty good idea of what you're doing now, how to go about creating apps using the Windows, uh, Universal Windows platform. Uh, I wouldn't blame you if you never want to see my face or hear my voice again. But if you do like me and like this style of training, then make sure you let Microsoft know. Uh, there are Microsoft and Channel 9 forums and Twitter accounts. There are plenty of ways to tell Microsoft what you think about this series. Now, assuming that you just can't get enough of Bob, and I don't understand that, but let's just go ahead and assume that that's possible, uh, uh, then I'd recommend that you check out the other video series that I've created. Uh, search Microsoft Virtual Academy for my name or Channel 9 for my name. There are several free training series out there that you might like including HTML5 and CSS3 for absolute beginners, JavaScript and jQuery for absolute beginners. Um, there's like 100 Azure videos across four different series that I created and a bunch of others. Maybe those would uh, point you in the right direction on those technologies as well. Now, if you're looking for additional resources on top of that, then I direct you once again to uh, this series that was created by Andy Wigley and Shen Chuan. Uh, called the Developer's Guide to uh, to Windows 10. And then, furthermore, uh, there are I know there are tons of great videos from the Bill Conference uh, in the spring of 2015. Those sessions are all available on Channel 9. You might have to do a little peeking around, but you can find them. Also, one resource that I didn't tell you about, uh, and perhaps one of the best, is available from the developer.windows.com site. So go out to developer.windows.com site, and then choose this link, Design and uh, UI. This really helped me to start thinking like a Windows 10 developer. So I highly recommend uh, the Design UWP Apps section in the Windows Dev Center. Now, I hope you already have an app or two in mind that you want to build, and hopefully some of the things that you learn in this series will help you get started. Now, if you're looking for meaty code examples that go way beyond what I was able to demonstrate in this series, uh, then you'll definitely want to check out this link here. Uh, that'll take you to GitHub, where there are uh, several dozen uh, samples that were created by Microsoft and there's I don't know if there's a yeah there's an exhaustive list here just about any feature that you can possibly think of they've got an example of it and then within those projects there are multiple examples there and, and of the very advanced concepts so it's an awesome resource uh, you know I've been perusing the Microsoft Store a lot in the last few weeks both just snooping around and sometimes because I legitimately needed to find a solution for some problem or some need that I have there's a lot of low-hanging fruit that needs somebody to pluck it off the opportunity tree, I guess you could say. In other words, I think that if you look around and you think hard about the kinds of apps that are successful on other platforms, then you take a look at the Windows Store and ask, of the apps that are available to do sort of the same thing, are there any features that they're missing? Uh, think about how you can introduce apps that work great on any Windows 10 device and the benefits to having the user uh, of those apps work across an ecosystem of Windows 10 devices, not just one specific either desktop or phone app. Uh, think about how you could add Cortana integration in order to enhance the experience. Think about live tiles and what you could, how you could use those periodically updating the content on those tiles 
in order to inform the user without them having to explode the uh, the application open. Uh, and just think about how you can improve the user's experience. You know, in the end, don't shoehorn features that you don't need. Advocate for the user. Make it simple, and then give them the tools that they need to achieve the end result that they're after. And keep in mind that you'll be running a company, essentially. At least that's how it's going to look to those who are actually using your app. So you'll need to grow thick skin. I'll tell you that from experience. Uh, um, there are lots and lots of nice people out there who will give you great feedback and will thank you for your good work. And then occasionally you're going to run into somebody who's a little grumpy having a bad day, right? Uh, and so you'll want to respond politely to everybody, even the people that are a little bit mean. Uh, you want to fix the issues in your app, and you want to get them those issues fixed and uploaded to the store and uh, so that the users can update and uh, get the benefit of those updates as quickly as possible. Uh, from my experience, whenever I treat a grumpy customer uh, kindly, then they usually become my greatest advocate and my greatest cheerleader. So I'd recommend that you do that too. Be mature about this. Uh, and kind of moving on from there, as a famous motivational speaker was known to say, you can get what you want out of life if you help enough other people get what they want. And I truly believe that. And I think that there's great opportunities for you to find your niches, to find your customers, and then deliver solutions that they're looking for. All right, before I close, let me put in one more plug for my website. Uh, let me show you the URL here on screen, www.learnvisualstudio.net, where I teach beginners the skills that they need to get their first software development job building Windows and web apps for the world's best companies as quickly as possible. There you're going to find more comprehensive series than what I've done on Channel 9 or Microsoft Virtual Academy uh, on topics like C Sharp and ASP.NET, ASP.NET MVC, application architecture, data access, and just about everything that you're going to need to get an entry-level software development job uh, at like a major company. So once again, I want to sincerely thank Andy Wigley. I feel sorry for him that he actually had to watch all these videos and review them, but he really, really helped me fit about, I don't know, maybe six months or a year's worth of, of effort into about six weeks. So thank you very much, Andy. And again, Clint, thank you, sir. Thanks to Larry Lieberman and others I've worked with in the past, especially Dan Fernandez, to whom I am eternally grateful. And finally, I hope, if nothing else, uh, you've gained the confidence to feel like you can do this. It's not out of your reach. Don't get discouraged if success doesn't come easy. If you hit roadblocks, just take your time and work through them methodically and be patient. I, I try to make all of this look easy, and for the most part, it really is. But not everything is simple at first glance. Uh, I have the benefit of editing out my mistakes, reshooting if something doesn't work the first time, or working off a script, but real life software development is a little bit more bumpy and there's, there's more struggle uh, to it, no matter who you are. Everybody has to go through the struggling at some point as they begin to learn software development in general and then specifically this stuff. Uh, the only difference between you and I is that I've been doing all this for 20 years. I just took tiny baby steps on a daily basis. Frankly, you already know more about software development by watching these videos or the Absolute Beginner videos on C Sharp than I, than I knew in the first couple years of, uh, that I was writing code. So you've already got a great head start. But you can do it. And when you do it, when you finally finish, Go ahead and send me a tweet and let me know what you came up with. I'd love to, to encourage you and to just take a look at what you came up with. It would be exciting for me, too, and I'd love to see it. So I sincerely wish you the best as you begin your career writing apps for Windows 10. Good luck, and thank you.